Rick, I haven't seen you in years. What have you been doing with yourself? Over, uh, we checked on the trike manufacturing, but I, uh, while we, I was doing the trikes, I was piddling around with a GPS project, and uh, when we closed down uh, trike manufacturing, we uh, focused on the GPS project, and we've come out with a six and a half inch touchscreen. Uh, so this is GPS. the little unit here. That's it. It's the Helm X 650, uh, six and a half inch touchscreen, and the. Uh, the neat thing about this unit is that it runs uh, Windows XP, and it's it's a, a smaller, more compact version of Windows XP. It's actually XP embedded, but it um, uh, it allows the user to install any GPS mapping software they want. You know, anywhere map, flight prep, uh, Voyager, uh, Seattle Avionics Voyager, which is probably the, our most popular program, and uh, and uh, you're not tied into the hardware manufacturer's proprietary software, and that's the really neat thing. For example, uh, Voyager, um, for $279 with Seattle Avionics Voyager, you get lifetime updates. That's WAC charts, TAC charts, sectional charts, uh, IFR plates, everything. $279 lifetime updates. And it's that's uh, that's Windows-based software. For example, Anywhere Map, Windows-based software, um, $399 lifetime updates. So, uh, give me a little uh, run through of what this thing will actually do. Well, it's, the functions are basically software driven. This is this is Anywhere Map. It's a real nice software. It um, pulls up all the information you need. It's very user friendly. You know, radio frequencies, um, things like that, and uh, or you can run. Uh, uh, you know, the, you could run Voyager. Uh, the Voyager software. It's anything you want, and you can flip back and forth between them. You know, you, you could be running uh, you could be running two versions of the of, uh, software at the exact same time. You know, anywhere map and Voyager at the exact same time. Now, how long have you been developing this software there or this unit? Uh, it's it's been a couple of years we've been working on this. What are some of the advantages of this unit or some of the other units that are there? Um. Basically, it's it's uh, it's the open it's an open source I call it an open source GPS. So you can run any software you want. It's it's Windows. If you want to run, uh, uh, if you're flying along and you're using your GPS map and you want to listen to music, you can pull up uh, uh, the Windows Media Player and play music or watch a movie or anything. And it's got full connectivity, just like a PC does. You know. Uh, earphone, microphone, serial port, USB ports. You can hook up a keyboard, a disk drive. Uh, just it's really unlimited. It's it's like a, a laptop PC installed in your panel. And the unit is is designed to fit in a standard avionics stack. And it it removes from the avionics stack. It snaps in and out uh, so that it maintains portable status. So you, you actually can install this unit in a Cessna 172. It's not limited to you know light sport or ultralight aircraft. You can install it in a 172. It's a portable GPS installation. Really neat because it because it, you're really unlimited with software. This, for example, this Voyager software has a, a highway in the sky function. So uh, full synthetic vision, and the unit has a built-in two-axis gyro that uh, uh, so that your roll rate and you pitch and roll. Uh, is instantaneous the response rather than you know a GPS derived artificial horizon or something and you could be flying along using your your uh, uh, Voyager artificial or your Voyager synthetic vision and you could flip over to uh, uh, to anywhere map and have your your moving map now we're powering this what with uh, just a standard battery pack or Oh, this is just a little uh, small like backup battery pack, but you typically run it off your aircraft power just like the rest of your avionics would. So it, it only it uses a uh, uh, little less than one and a half amps at full bright. You're telling me about the screen. What's well, interesting, it has a polarized touch screen. And the neat thing about the polarized screen is you know, if anyone who's used an aviation GPS knows you, you'll be flying along and you get a somebody in the airplane is wearing a white shirt you get a reflection off of their white shirt and you can't read the GPS but with this polarized screen you can tip it and try to reflect the Sun directly off of it and you can always read it there's 
There's nothing you can do to it to where you can't read it. It's it's just great in direct sunlight. So if somebody wanted to get some more information on it, uh, where would they go? The website, www.helmnav.com. Okay. So. Thank you very much for your time, man. Great.